so good morning to all and thank you very much uh, for inviting us to make to uh, represent our data set and how what we can do further so like coming to my name is gautam kishor sahib and in the month of like beginning of february and march we started to working on the covid related problem and then we noticed that there is issue with i mean lots of issue going on the misinformation side and then we started a project like pay covid and with one of my colleague from so i am from university of this location in germany and one of my colleagues from this university of bamberg so durgesh nandi and today i am going the presentation going to present all these things um, behalf of both of us so in this project we are trying to like explore so many things uh, on the related to the fake news on the covid 19 pandemic and we are covering so many i mean several different platform like news media and social media platforms like uh, twitter and social uh, um, in youtube and all, we are now also uh, fetching the data from reddit so and we are trying to make the quality of data high quality in terms of removing the bias so that we can have the truthful result from that all the data set so just i am going to introduce like about the data set and what we contributed and what you can what are the possible open question we can answer from this data sets so like we all know from this hackathon like uh, this year there is a one term uh, coined by the director of who like in, we are not fighting with the pandemic we are fight also fighting with the uh, i mean along with pandemic we are also fighting with the infodemic so during the pandemic people are already afraid confused and fear i mean they are in panic situation still we are struggling with this covid 19 pandemic and there's no big hope till now so we are, there are so many news are coming like related to the vaccine some country has tested positive and negative and people it makes very much uncomfortable in the society like okay um, uh, what is the true news and i mean in the next slide i'm also going to present like there are some uh, one of the big news companies are also saying fake news so sometimes hard to believe or uh, what news should be believe what should news we should ignore and all so what one thing we found like there is a lack of uh, i mean like there are different kinds of fake news that were trending throughout the years like election sometimes flood comes or uh, some any crisis occur during the year but like i uh, we observe like there is a difference in the fake news of the pandemic uh, like covid 19 or previously like zika virus or sars virus because during the pandemic of the health there are different topics are trending like uh, origin of the disease then how it's spread throughout the world what could be the prevention somebody is saying like if you do some herbal treatment or natural treatment with some xyz things you will be cured but keep this makes so many high situation around the society so Wow. we started with like collecting all the data from the like more than 92 fact checking website and in 40 languages throughout the globe and we were uh, we wanted to see like what they are doing and what kind of news are trending and then we further explore other method like from that data set to um, what's happening during last 6 or 7 so now is now 9 months so when we first published our data set it was just 6 months sorry so just to overview view like how the like uh, we, we i told you like this is different from the normal fake news i mean fake news on other topic like election or the doing the corona virus so we uh, we look at the google trend uh, mainly from the january to may and it's like this plot says like till the mid of may and if you see like during the month of mid march and the mid april the trend was very i mean on the peak so it's also like very much similar so first uh, trend is representing the search keyword so we also look for the different pair of search uh, uh, keywords so like corona virus with the space and i mean like corona word and then virus and then we look for the covid 19 and then covid hyphen 19 so but we found like people search more with the corona virus compared to other related uh, keyword for the this pandemic and we also look for the fake news we observed that there is a similar trend going on the like fake news and the corona uh, corona virus and this can be also considered as a like uh, indication like okay people are more searching what's happening what kind of fake news are circulating on the corona virus 
and th this trend is also observed during in our data set so like there was a peak during the upsell so many new fake news are also fact checked by different organization so this is very much really real and we can also relate with our data set so what uh, we did here and what we are presenting in this hackathon so like we uh, we started by like fake COVID, which mainly discuss about the, so, as I told, like misinformation on the COVID-19. And we try to come up with very quickly what we have found. And then we are still exploring much detail into this data set. And uh, then we are trying to also find, well, like uh, explain what kind of different things is happening, different topics that are happening, why that, what kind of fake news is clear in different countries, different language. There are so many problems which we can answer with this kind of data sets. So one of the things we observe, like there is still like uh, in, in our data set, there are more than 92 fact checking websites are, are available. And they are using different kind of classes for their like verdict. So classes means like in the, um, mm, yeah. So classes like this one. Uh, so uh, like there are someone is saying like, we took the official definition from the some of the websites like Snop and the Polyfact. So some uh, fact checking websites saying like mostly true, some is saying partially true, some is saying mixture, some is saying mostly false. And there is also issue with like uh, capital S small letters. There is also issue with uh, different I mean typo spelling and all these things. So we found like there are 86 different classes and across the different um, fact checking websites. It's also quite confusing. And if we want to do some kind of automation, like automatic fact checking or automated analysis, it's very difficult. Like for some of the classes, we have so much data, but for some of the classes, we don't have much data because that kind of classes use like only two or three fact checks. So we, we deeply analyze all the difference and provide it on the different fact checking website. And we analyze it by four researcher, two professor and three professional expert who are fact checker by profession. So with group of these people, we merge all these fact uh, classes into four, four classes that I'm going to present in the next slide. So this is also, I think we it's, it reduce the like problem of class imbalance and which could help also for the automatic uh, finding some result using some machine learning or other AI techniques. So in, for this hackathon, what we are going to share so we are going to set two data sets so it's all in the umbrella of the COVID project so in the data set one we have like uh, around 7600 news article so this is not the uh, these are not the actual fake articles or these are true news this is the fact checking news article so in the fact checking news article the fact checker published what they found and what kind of topics are trending and from where they found this source of like claim and all. And from those uh, uh, fact check news article, we look at the like content of the fact check, um, I mean, news article. And then we found like, are there, we also noticed like they are, it's common that they are linking their news article to the social media websites like Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. And then we crawl all the uh, tweets from those articles. So we scrapped the HTML content and then we found the link to the tweet and we found around seven, around 1600 tweets. But after filtering, we found, uh, we used uh, in the data set two, we are providing 1500 level tweets, so which are mainly uh, false uh, category. And then we, with one of the paper, we also take, took the random sample tweet. So for this data set two, um, we take the time frame of like 14, to January to to the uh, like 10th or 12th of July 2020. So we use this time frame for one of our papers. So we all we uh, accordingly we also sample 1,000 tweets for every day, and which after some of the tweets were deleted. So after all the filtering, we have around 164,000 random sample tweets. So these random random sample tweets are. Um, taken from all the hashtag like COVID-19 coronavirus and COVID-19 COVID something like that. And so for the data set one, we took like pointer and snops as a reference data hub. 
so why pointer so pointer is like uh, is initiated by NAS international fact checking network to bring all the well, fact checker worldwide to a single platform and they maintain a like a separate data have and they uh, for the covid 19 and they are regularly uh, updating all the uh, like fact check article by different organization i think weekly or once in the 10 days and they are also using hashtag facts or that also on twitter to gather or to publish uh, that they have already fact check this uh, this claim and this is false or true something like that and I, as i already mentioned like for the data set two it is crawled from the like embedded tweets from the fact check article which uh, with we got from the IFC network and the sample tweets is used from like hashtag like COVID-19 and coronavirus and etc. So this I already discussed like what was the issue uh, like there are different classes used by that and then we decided to go with four class problem and so the, here the four class we call it like class normalization. So we structure all the like fact check articles in the four classes. So for two classes, which very much uh, we are certain, like what is, if something is untrue, then it's false. If something is true, then true. But for the two class, it makes complicated and we merge most of the data on some this classes also, like which is partially false. So if some, uh, so to define partially false, we analyze the definition and we came across the like point, like partially false could be like, if, if the claim is saying like, okay, some part of is true and some part is false, then we will say like it's partially false. And why? Because it's, we cannot, it's very hard to judge like it's 100% true or 90% true or something like that. So if any part of, if any true incident, if any part of false information are present, then we can categorize as a partially false. And in this category, something like mostly true and partially true or mostly false, all this category comes in this uh, this class and which makes easy to find some ga um, more data on this class and we can also detect this kind of uh, fake news and another is like uh, others so in other category there are some data provided by the fact checker that okay there's no evidence for this claim or there's no rating or something like name or which is not fake news but they're also circulated across the different uh, uh, platform so we classify other so uh, for overall our study our main concern was the false and the partially false news articles or the tweets and we excluded uh, for our study we excluded the two or others so one of the example uh, sorry for due to the privacy concern i removed the name of the so on the right side this is the post by one of the news news company and on the left side this is one of the post from person in us so like in the left side, we are saying like some uh, like some people are uh, running with the trolley in the supermarket. So in uh, this is a false, we say like this is a false because uh, like uh, this was a, I mean like best or uh, there was a fake news running like of here in the month of March and that uh, there is a uh, like uh, a shortage of toilet paper on the uh, supermarket. So people are trying to stock the toilet paper uh, when the lockdown started most of the country so this is completely fake news because uh, i mean belongs to false category because uh, there was no incident i mean there was no announcement by the costco i mean one of the superman supermarket store i think is in usa and this picture is also taken from different video actually actually this is a video so this video is also taken from the different video so this is there is no incident of true information in this tweet. So we say like okay, this is a false uh, uh, category. And in the part in the right side, if you see now uh, this is the incident from India. Uh, so there was a one incident from that one group of people is spreading COVID nineteen, and then uh, like some people are speaking on the police officer demanding that they are not giving food or something like that. So we call it like partially false uh, that this is this in overall this incident is true that like one group of people was involved in I mean like uh, blame for spreading COVID-19 or something but the but the 
claim that the people is spitting on the police officer is false because that where the, the that incident is taken from different article and they merge the true and false information and they say like okay these people are doing this thing and uh, unfortunately this this tweet was posted by like one of the big and the verified account of twitter handle and big news company so this is the example of false and partially false which we use in our analysis so in the data set what you will find uh, like hmm, we have around 7600 fact check news articles from 92 fact checking websites in 40 languages and 80 percent of these articles are false and then this data set contains like 105 countries and top 10 countries are like india usa spain and this top 10 countries i am going to show in the next slide contributes like 65 percent of the fake news so this could be reason like this this top 10 countries are active in the fact checking or this could be another reason like uh, they are actually spreading more i mean there are more fake news that circulating in this country compared to other countries in the data set two, you will get 1500 tweets which are classified as misinformation, mainly false and the partially false category. And this 1500 tweets are collected from around 1200 unit accounts. And the same like the, these tweets are classified into four different classes. So the, here I'm going, going to show some plots which have we already found. So like these are the top 10 fact checking websites around the globe. So like AFP is one of the most, uh, I mean, involved in the fact checking and so on. And then snobs and there's like fact tests and do, and there are also some fact checking website in different languages. So like in the third one is like Maldita is from Spain and the Polyfact and all. So here in the data set, uh, one again. So here we see like this language distribution of the fact check articles. So these plots are from our first findings. So when we publish around 5,000 articles, so it, this number will go up. So just we, this is the first version of data, not the latest data. So it might go around 2,500. We didn't plot it for the current data set. So still English is one of the most common language for the like sharing the fake news. So it's like a uh, language is going like in which language the fact check article is published. So might be some case like the actual fake claim or fake message was circulated in different language, but that check that is fact checked by in English or Spanish or something. So uh, surprising Spain is also one of the top language in overall data. And in the right side, if you see uh, like around these numbers are coming from around 5,000 articles. So it might go again more. So like India, we have around 1,000 fact check articles and United Nations around 677 and then Spain and so on. So, and we also have different uh, data from Philippines and France and all. So, yeah, but like, uh, oh, sorry, somehow I got the wrong thing. So in the data set two, uh, this is showing uh, like in the data set, Two, I have only one plot, which I wanted to show like, uh, like what's the trend of tweets. So uh, if you remember correctly, I mentioned like there's a trend and during the like mid of March and the mid of May, the trend were peak on the coronavirus on the fake news. And this is the same trend also like in the fact checking. If you see like uh, the different tweets are circulating on the different months. So we have data from January to mid July and then this blue category are the false and the orange is partially false. So again here, the mid of March and the mid of May was the most peak time. And now uh, still uh, we are downloading. So we always, we keep downloading the data from around each after two weeks. So now the trends are going very down. So with the number is very less. So you can assume like after July also the trend is similar, but our main concern was this part like middle of the March and the middle of May. So uh, what uh, like uh, with this two data set, what we can still do? So like we have two data set. I'm also going to store the data by, I hope I have some time. So explore the data, uh, show the data set, how it looks. And like uh, we can classify the normal tweets with the 
uh, sample using the labeled misinformation tweet. We can, and I also talked to like, we are in the collaboration with the some fact check agency. So like there is still discussion is going on, like how the, how can we use the English train fake news classifier on the different language like Spanish or something. One, I mean, because the translation is still changes so many contexts of the fake news. So can we find any trend or similarity or use some concept of transfer learning across, across the different languages? Same thing across the different countries. So what kind of things are trending on the different countries and uh, like are the same, I mean, kind of fake news are spreading in the India or the US or the Spanish or something. And like another thing we observe, like there's so many repetition of the fact check article by different fact checking company. So like, are they working? So is, is it way to find like how many claims are like similar? Uh, are they working on the same claim? So like the main goal of IFCN to bring all the fact check on the common platform, but I talked to many fact check website, I mean the news company, they're still independent. And they said like, we try to integrate during the time of the election, like this year in the US election, but only for some short time and with the short quantity of data. Overall, we are still independent and that brings uh, like uh, a repetition of data and also the uh, resources. So like fact checking websites are having a big issue of resources. So they are like, during the peak time, there are thousands of requests are coming for the uh, like fact check, but they are not able to allocate the fact checker to um, like check the claim. So they are also trying to solve this problem. So if someone is interested, they can also go with this direction. So if uh, we are continuously publish all this uh, details on this one of the websites of fake COVID. So if you are interested, then please go there. And now I would, so that's it from my side. These are some differences which I use in the paper. And now I would like to show about the data set. So first I will go start from the, can you still see my screen? Yes, we see the columns A to D in the Excel sheet. Okay, that's A to D. No, oh, that's different, sorry. All the columns that you have in the file, I think. No, I wanted to say, just one minute. I will share the sure. entire screen. What's happening with you? Okay. No, now you can see the Excel file, right? Uh, yes, now it's a big Excel file that we yeah. see. Yes. So this is the data set uh, one, so which is like um, fact check news, news article. So we provided one unique ID, identity. We try to remove the duplicate article, so, but if there is something mistake, if I were coding this, so I'm sorry for that, but th there's 99% chance there's no duplication. So this is the like reference URL how, from where we collected the data. So it's mainly referring to the pointer and this is the page ID and the very, I mean like this is the verified by means like the fact checker company. So all this name of the company and this is the country. And so then this is the class. So this is the class published by the fact checking uh, company and all. And this is the title and the published date and the country one. So here I wanted to show like we sometimes the country is like the same news article is posted in the different countries. So just for example here, it's in the Middle East and the North Africa. So we split it in the different columns. So maximum it was like four in the four countries. So here you, you so that you see like how it's trending on the different countries. So like country one means like one of the country and then the second and the third and the fourth. So mostly the fourth was blank, but some of the news is still circulating in the fourth country, then it's the, it, there will be some data. So for example, like here in the Mexico, and then here is the article source. So it is an actual article source which we like get it from the, uh, where we downloaded all the data and this is source. And then the source title. So this, I'm just going to go to overview what you can get it from there. So what are the title used by the source and the content? So we'll still download all the HTML text from the, that article. And then this category, this is some 
due to the, some opening of mistake. So here in category, some of the category are filled. So this is one of the ongoing work. So if it's unfilled, then please ignore. And then we detected the language of the news article. So here in the, this column, you will see the language. So it's using the IOS3, ISO3 uh, language code. So if you, you can filter it with the like EN for English and ES for Spanish and something like that. And then you can do something else. And for the data set two. So for the data set two, here you will find the 1500 tweets. So it's like, here is a simple like date of creation, the tweet ID and the text and the tweet class. So column D is presented by us. Can you see the like label tweet on the Chrome browser? Sorry, currently we see column S on our screen. The sheet two, but column S. Can you maybe ref refresh some Because we see book three, but we, we see column S, no column A or B. Okay, just give me, let, let me reset it. Something wrong. Sorry. Sorry, I think I just wanted to share my entire laptop, but it's not working. Okay. Then I need to go one by one. Mm. Maybe if you share, uh, when you share the screen, uh, not the uh, desktop, but you share the, when you pick just the Excel file, it should be better in. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just one minute, sorry. Okay, then I can do one by one. So yeah, so like in the data set two, now I think you can see my browser. Uh, yes. Yeah, so in the data set two, you will find the label to it. So we have the date and the ID and the text and the tweet class. So here you will find only the class false and partially false because as I said, we have only around 1500 data here. And in the other class like, uh, True and the others, they were very less, so we, we remove it for our, our analysis. So here is the false, and this somehow in the bottom in the partially false. And these tweets are multilingual. So if somebody is interested to work in all the English, then I can provide the language column also, but I think it's depending on the research question, what you want to solve. And the, in the data set two, again, wait, I need to see here. Um, yeah. So in the data set, Two, I say, like there's also sample tweet, uh, like 164,000 sample tweets. So this is also look same. So it's like a tweet ID and then the text and then date. So here there's no classes because this is just sample tweet. So you can do whatever you want to do with this data set, but just be used for our analysis. So we compare the text of this two data, but it's still there are many open questions, as I said. So that is from my side. And if you have any, yeah, one more thing. We are also working on to uh, launch all this data with the CodeLM platform. Sorry, the link is not ready. So I need some time to uh, share it with you, maybe by the end of day. So maybe I will send it to Alexander and he can share. So that's it from my side. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much for so this. If, of yeah, sorry. If you have any question, then please let me know. Sure, let me, for the moment, let me unmute the participants. If, so if there are any uh, questions, uh, you're all free to answer because I haven't seen anything in the chat during the presentation. Um, I have a lot of questions, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be the curious one in the um, whole session, I believe. Uh, thank you, Gautam, for the presentation of the data set. Um, can you um, quickly uh, go back to the slides once again? I think on the first slide, slide number one, I'll, I'll keep it short because I really have quite a lot of questions. Um, or, or you don't have to share it, but you can just uh, let me know what it meant. There was uh, one statement saying that there are a lot of domains covered. So, um, this slide. Yeah, or maybe I heard it. 
Um, I don't know exactly the flight number, but there was some point where you said there are a lot of domains covered. Um, was so you mean to say this domains uh, from COVID perspective is what is covered, right? So it's not just about the virus, but it's like, for example, the toilet paper example is related to COVID, but it's not actually about the virus itself. Okay, I got your point. So what, uh, sorry, due to the, like, we are still working on that paper, so we, I cannot share that domain. So, but what do we, I mean by domain, like uh, this, uh, what I can, I can show you something. So. Just give me one more. Yeah, so like um, domain means like what kind of topic they are covering on the fake news on the COVID-19. So some are like covering related to the like um, prevention of the disease and some is like origin and spread. So mm -hmm. we label all the news article manually. Like what is the domain? I think. Uh, so something like this one. Uh, like uh, domain could be like the coronavirus collection history and coronavirus mm -hmm. co collection and something so uh, we i mean like this no also categorize the news article in one of the domain but there are so the uh, like this domain is like a good example like the coronavirus collection memes and misinformation so some mm -hmm. uh, some uh, misinformation says in terms of memes so they categorize 12 articles in this domain so what we are doing we mm -hmm. are annotating all the domains so right now we are doing only for English, German, and Hindi, around 3,000 news articles. And we mm -hmm. wanted to see what kind of domains are spreading on this uh, uh, like pandemic. So that's why I mentioned in the data set one, if you see the category, so some mm -hmm. of them might be empty because we have not shared this to the public now. Okay. Um, and, and, and is there like a domain overlap between these? I mean, or like these categories, do they overlap uh, from your observation? Uh, or are they like clearly? Uh, till now, no. Till now, okay. no. So we have like, if you are still interested, then there is one paper which also discuss about uh, one domain. So mm -hmm. I mean, there are eleven uh, set of domains. So we like uh, in this paper we mention what are what could be the domain, and then we uh, we are annotating the data on only those domains. Okay, so here, perfect. Here you will good. find all. So like regarding the example, the domain could be like origin mm. and spread and prevention and treatment and something like that. Okay, perfect. That makes sense. Okay. Um, so, Sonia, do you have a lot more questions? Because we also have questions from other participants in yeah, the chat. Yeah, maybe it's overlapping questions, so I'll keep quiet, let the others <laughs> Okay, well, if there, your questions are not answered, we'll have another uh, session. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I see the question from uh, the next speaker, Preslav. Do you want to... Uh, uh, tell, uh, ask the questions oh, yourself. Sure. Yeah, I mean, okay, I have um, also multiple questions, but I mean, I can put in here too. By the way, a very interesting data set. Um, okay, so I'll start actually from the second question. Okay, the first question is kind of more like a distribution question. Is the distribution where you have like 80% of the examples, uh, you know, uh, if you have 80% of the examples actually false, Right, and the articles is this a reasonable distribution because kind of that's the exact opposite of what you find online, right? So, kind of this is just like high, high level comment about the first data set. About the second data set, I'm kind of confused how exactly the tweets are extracted. I mean, we have been doing similar kind of things, collecting tweets from fact checking websites. I mean, it's not that every single tweet that is there mentioned, right, is really about the claim. You have to do a lot of manual checking. So, for example, I mean, I see their tweet in line 20 of your examples in the file you opened. The tweet was saying there are days that must happen to you. So what is there to fact check in a tweet like that? Right? Yeah, so no. so uh, I'm just kind of wondering, right? Kind of what I mean, are these tweets really kind of containing something that, that, that can possibly be fact checked? I mean, are you looking into check worthiness for tweets? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I got your question. So like mainly like I agree with you. So like not in all the tweets or any social media posts mentioned in the news article are not actually uh, fact check or the false or partially false claim. So we did a manual look on that. First, we crawl all the tweets. So just I can also give you overview how it works. So first, I crawl the, all the tweets, and then one person look at the like one of the master students look at all the tweets. Whether it's like kind of fake, or it need to be fact checked. So just like your point, worthiness. So worthiness to check or some app, or it is already fake and checked by the fact checker. 
and I accept uh, that there might be some mistake. So we are sorry for that because it's only done by one person and it's also issue of like language. So tools are in different language and the person knowledge. So, so we uh, just, I need to so share one more thing. Yeah. So this is how, uh, how we did it. So for example, in the left side, if in the, uh, there's a word passes and somebody, this links to one, this, one of the tweets, then we extracted this right tweet from the right side. And then we look at the, like, whether it's a false or not. So if, and then we also look, read the content of the like news article, what is mentioning, what kind of false part is information is on the, like, uh, this tweet. So this is so much. Okay. So, so this is the, uh, like, uh, uh, this is this is how we extracted the tools from that, and I apologize if there is some mistakes in the data. But no, it's okay. They, they can and be the mistakes. next round anyway. we are going for the mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Okay, got it. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, and we have a few more uh, questions about the Twitter uh, part of the data. So uh, one is uh, Tommaso Caselli. So if you wanna ask this uh, or yes. have yeah it, it's, it's more a clarification than, than an actual question so maybe i've missed something so if your collection and and is an overlap with question one by Preslov basically so do we have any true claims so that in when training no. a, a classifier i can i can definitely say okay this is uh this is true this is okay then we have faults and partially faults that are the vast majority yeah, I also look for that. So unfortunately, no, because we had only 34 true claim and 43 uh, like in the other category. So if you want, I can add those two in the data set, but like not a sufficient number so that we can train a classifier. So if you see like false and partially false are around 1500 and then the true claim are only 34. So not enough. So that's why, but we can use the unlabeled data for something like for unsupervised uh, so, like weak supervision based machine learning classifier to detect on the true claim or something. Okay, so uh, let's uh, have uh, one more quick question and then we uh, move to the next presentation and we have another question session afterwards. Uh, so the languages of this tweet, are they uh, written in multiple languages or? Yeah. Uh, so here we didn't translate any tweet or any news article. So the text of the tweet or the news article in both the data set are in the original format. So why we, we don't want to go for English translation because we have enough data set for at least top five or top six language like French, Spanish, Turkish, German. So I hope many people are from, even for Hindi, Bengali, and so many languages. So if I will request all uh, if participants are interested, please, if you are interested in English, then go with it or try to do something in, in your, or your native or understanding language because there are no work has been done in this language. And if we translate the language, then we are kind of diluting so many actual content from the uh, like actual tweet or the news article because I tried with so many translators and none of them are the best, even not having the 70% of accuracy. Okay. 